Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to remove loop from the linked list. So we have been talking about uh, identifying loop in the linked list, then finding out the first element uh, of the list that belongs to the loop. So we have used Floyd's algorithm for those and today we will again use Floyd's algorithm to remove the loop. So remember uh, if you have not watched my earlier videos, I would request you to go uh, to my previous videos and see how to find the first element of the linked list. Like in this case, 3 is the first element in, of the linked list which is part of the loop because we start traversing from the head of the list. So in this video, uh, I will just do minor tweak in the code and nothing more. So uh, the main content of uh, the main concept that we will use, uh, I have uh, taught in my previous video where we will we were finding the first element of the loop. So uh, earlier what we did in our earlier videos like we start from head and keep a slow and fast pointer and they meet somewhere. Let's say they meet at 5. Then we keep one pointer at 5 and one pointer at head. So 5 is the place where they both slow and fast pointers met where we confirm that there is a loop. Now to find the first element we kept one pointer at head and one pointer at the place where they met and then uh, advanced both these pointers by one step and they will uh, meet at 3. So now the question is how to remove that. So remember uh, in uh, previous video where we were finding the first element of the node we were comparing like uh, we were making p1 equal to p1 dot next similarly p2 and we were also comparing that we were looping through this till p1 is not equal to p2 So when both P1 and P2 comes at this place then it will be equal and then we just printed out that pointer that was our first uh, node that belonged to the loop. So in this we will instead of comparing this we will compare we will loop this till P1 dot next is not equal to P2 dot next. So in that case where will the loop terminate? Earlier loop terminated when both the pointers came to this 3. Now when P2 is here or uh, sorry P1 is here because in this case we have P1. So let's say I started from here and P2 was here. So P1 comes to 7. So initially I will check that P1's next is 7 and P2's next is 2 or it should start from here. So its next is 8 and its next is 2. So these are not equal so now P2 will move here and P1 will move here. Now I will check its next is 3 and its next is also 3. So we will stop here. So where we will terminate when P1 is here and P2 is 2. That is one distance, one unit distance away from the first node. Now we know that P1 was the pointer that was going through the loop. So its next is the first node. So we know that now P1 is pointing to the last node. So after this loop terminates, so we will not use this, we will now use this condition. till p1 dot next is not equal to p2 dot next and once this loop terminates then we will make p1 dot next equal to null and we are done we have removed the loop because p1 is now the last element so what will be the result we will get rid of so its next was pointing to 3, the first element of the loop. Now it will point to null. So
so this link will not exist so when we now start traversing from the head we will go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and now its next is null so it will terminate so this new list becomes 1 2 so we have removed the cycle from the list so quickly uh, I will give a brief demo so this was our code that we used for finding the first element of the loop so we can just modify this code just two line modification is needed so we will name it remove loop and now uh, we were checking this slow is not equal to fast so instead we will check so this is the earlier part where we were just finding the first element we are finding the loop so now this is the case where we are actually finding the first element so we will write ok so now when this loop terminates the pointers are one unit distance from the first node of the loop so slow was head so fast was the part of the loop so what we will do we will make fast next equal to null pointer so to confirm or prove our point uh, in the last video we had inserted loop and then printed the beginning of the list so let's run I have not yet removed the loop so you can see that this was the list 1 2 10 20 1 2 53 and we had moved pip this uh, next pointer of 3 to 20 to create the loop using this create loop function and if after creating the loop we try to print the list it will not terminate so I can give a quick demo and so you can see that 21 to 53 20 again after 3 it again starts repeating so 20 was the first element of the loop now what I will do I will not print this first I will remove the loop and then print the loop list I have done nothing just removed the loop and now see after creating uh, the loop it printed 20 was the first element of the loop now I removed the loop and now printed the list and it removes the loop and we get back the original list that we had so uh, this is how we will uh, we can modify the Floyd's algorithm for uh, finding out the first elements so first we saw one application of Floyd's algorithm where we figured out if there is a loop in the list or not in the second application we found out what is the first element of the loop and now we have used the same algorithm to remove the loop so I will give a, a link to the previous videos in the video description so don't forget to watch these and thanks for watching and please give your valuable feedbacks in the comment section.